how should I speak in my speaking test? Is this question constantly giving you sleepless nights? Are you thinking, oh, should I speak casually, formally? How do I approach? How do I sit in front of the examiner? What do I do? Well, that's exactly what we are going to talk about today. This channel is what studying abroad dreams are made of. Do subscribe and hit the bell icon. So, firstly, we need to understand what is the speaking test. So, the speaking test has three parts to it. Part one will be a conversation between you and the examiner where the examiner will ask you questions about yourself. So, you cannot go wrong here. Why? Because they are not looking for correctness of information. They are looking for your delivery of that information. How fluent you are. How do you develop your answers? So they might ask you questions like, what do you do during the weekends? Where do you live? Or where are you from? And you don't need to go too formal with these kinds of questions in part one. So you cannot just say, hello, sir. Hello, madam. I live here. Or speak like that. Just be normal. If someone asks you, where do you live? How do you answer that question? You just answer normally, don't you? So stick to that. Don't go too casual. Obviously, it's, uh, it's a formal test, but don't go too formal. They are not looking for that. They are just looking for your normal delivery on how you speak in your everyday lives. Now, there is part two, which is your individual turn. You will be given a cue card. And based on the topic, a general topic written on the cue card, you will have to speak for a minimum of two minutes. But I, I always suggest students to keep speaking till the examiner stops you. Because that way, you can be sure that you've given the examiner enough to evaluate you on. Okay? Now, even in this, there will be a common topic given. I'll give you an example. What do you know about the traffic laws in your country? So you may not know anything about the traffic laws, but there's always at least three or four sentences that you know, even about a topic you don't know. Trust me, you will be surprised by knowing or when you come to know that there are certain topics that you thought you know nothing about, but you still know a lot about them. And you can certainly speak for two minutes. Again, don't be very casual. Don't be very formal. Just speak how you would speak to another person. Now, then there's part three. Part three, again, it's a conversational round where the examiner will be asking you questions and you will be answering those questions, question answer. But here, the questions are not about you. They are in relation to the topic that was in part two. So if they spoke about traffic laws, they will be giving you follow-up questions about that topic. This, again, does not require you to be too casual or too formal. Just speak normally. So... At the end of it all, what I want to say is there is a way that you need to approach the test. There are these, these few things that you need to keep in mind during all the three parts of your speaking test. One, do not treat the examiner like a robot or a recording machine. That's a human being sitting in front of you. And trust me, that person is more bored than you are. Your test lasts for 15 minutes. You are probably the 10th person in the day who that, that person is talking to, who the examiner is talking to. So consider that. They are not there to mark you down. They are just there to see what you do and based on that, where you stand and award you that band or those many marks, whatever you want to call it. Do not think too much before answering every question. So I'll give you an example. Ask me where do I live. So I want to answer that question. I will say I'm from Mumbai or I'm from Pune or I'm from Delhi. I can say anything. Right? They, they are not looking for my actual address. They are not going to do a background check on me on whether I really live in Mumbai or Pune or Delhi or wherever uh, I live. But I will start thinking, you know, mm, what do I say? What do I say? I'm from Mumbai. So what do I talk about? The gateway of India? Or do I talk about the Bollywood influence in Mumbai? Or do I talk about the beach? No, you don't have to go there. You don't have to go there. One Maybe two sentences is more than enough. That's what they are looking for. If I just say Mumbai, that's also not good. So do not uh, give too long or too short answers. Again, we will take this as an example. Where do you live? I can say, I'm from Mumbai. Now, consider this. Did I answer the question? Well, the answer is yes. I did answer the question. Where am I from? I'm from Mumbai. But 
did I give the examiner enough to evaluate me on, on my English skills? Well, the answer is no. I just said Mumbai. But at the same time, the examiner says, where, where are you from? Where do you live? I'll say, oh, I live in Mumbai, the land of Bollywood. Oh, there are beaches. Have you been to the Queen's Necklace, Gateway of India, the Taj Hotel? Oh, then there are suburbs and then there's three lines in railways and so on. That's speaking too much. Is that required? It's not required. So where am I from? I was born and raised in Mumbai. I, I don't live in Mumbai anymore, but I'd love to get back there and, and settle in the city I was born in. Good enough. So, how should you speak? Not very formal, not very casual, somewhere in the middle, like how you would speak to another person in your everyday lives. That's what you should do on your speaking test.